Hello, and welcome to the DEX Imaging Help Desk instructions for installing Windows print drivers for Canon printers. We'll try to make this as quick and easy as possible, so let's go ahead and dive in and begin by opening up a web browser. We're using Firefox in our example, but you can use Chrome, Edge, or whichever browser you prefer. And we'll head to www.deximaging.com service. Once on our service site, click Resources. Then scroll down and click Canon Downloads. If your browser blocks the window from opening, simply right click the link and select Open in a new tab. Now that we're on the Canon Download site, we'll type in our model number into the search box here. We're using an Image Runner Advanced DXC357, so we'll type in C357 and see it auto completed with the full model name of the printer. We'll click on that to go to the downloads page for our model. And here on the downloads page, if we scroll down, we see the driver versions listed. We want to go with the generic plus UFR2 driver that has the recommended tag. So we'll click download on that, and that should begin shortly. Once it's complete, find that download either in the top right, as in our example here, or the bottom left corner if you're using Chrome or a similar browser. And double click the file to open it up. That will open a self-extractor. That's going to show you the path where it will extract to, which should be your download folder in most cases. Simply click Extract and it will unpack the driver files. Once that's complete, we can close our web browser and we're going to open up File Explorer, which is the folder icon, and navigate to our Downloads folder to find the extracted files. As you can see here, we've got that folder extracted. It may be down toward the bottom of the downloads folder, so you may need to search for the generic plus UFR2 folder here. We'll open up that folder and inside find and open the setup.exe file. Once we've got the installer open, it will ask us about language preference. By default, it's going to use whatever language your computer is set to, so you can just click next, and then agree to the software license agreement by clicking yes. We're going to select the standard install and click next, and then next again. And then that will search the network for compatible printers. It can take a little bit of time, but once it finishes, it should show you the information about printers it found. We can see in our example here that it just found the one printer, our C357. If there's several printers, you can use the product name and IP address fields to select the correct one. We'll just click the checkbox next to that, and then click next. Then start to begin the installation. And that will take just a few minutes to install the driver in the print queue. But let's talk about what you can do if the installer does not automatically find your printer. If the list came back completely blank, for example. In that case, you're going to need to know the IP address of the printer, which you can typically get from the counters option on the control panel of the printer. So if the scan doesn't find your printer, you would select back to back up in the installer until you reach this page where we selected standard before. And instead, we're going to select Custom, then click Next. And if prompted here, you're going to select Add New Printer, then click Next again. And you'll get this window asking you to select your model. In almost every case, the best option is to leave this on Auto Select. We'll click Next again, and here have the option to name our printer on the computer. I'll just put the model name here as the printer name. Then we're going to click the Add Port button just above that field. We'll select standard TCP slash IP port on this list, then click OK. And that's going to open up the Add Printer Port Wizard. Click Next, then type the IP address of your printer into the top field. The bottom one should automatically fill in. Click Next when finished typing, then Finish once it's detected the port to close the wizard. Back in our installer, we'll click Next, then Start to begin the installation. So, whether the installer found our printer automatically or we had to add it manually, we've now got the driver installed and the print queue added. Let's talk about configuring the options and default settings. To begin, we'll right click on the start menu, then select run. In the run dialog box, type control printers, then press enter or click ok. That's going to bring up the devices and printers window. Find the printer you just added, which may say Canon Generic Plus UFR2, and right click it and select Printer Properties. We'll work from the right to left in the tabs up top here. So first we'll select Device Settings. 
On this device settings tab, we just want to click the refresh arrows at the top here to query the printer and pull information from it automatically. That's going to get all of the data about your installed options. Next, we'll select the security tab and we want to click the check boxes for allow next to manage the printer and manage documents. Click apply to save the changes. Next, we'll head to the advanced tab and then click printing defaults. Here, you can set the default print options for jobs from this computer. We recommend changing the one-sided, two-sided option to one-sided printing. And if your machine is color, we recommend changing the color mode to black and white. You can still choose to print color by changing the setting for each job, but this will help prevent accidental color prints. Click apply when finished to save the changes, then click OK to close the window. Finally, we'll head to the general tab and first select preferences. We should see the same settings we just applied as printing defaults. In some cases, this may not have carried over, so just reapply the same settings here, then click Apply, then OK to close the window. And now we can send a test page to the printer, and you should see that printout indicating you're good to go. We hope you found this video helpful. Please give us a like if you did. Thank you for watching the Dex Imaging Help Desk channel. You can subscribe for more informational content like this.